So this is the latest, newest SUV coming from BYD and Mercedes, their JV. And frankly, it's going to be the kind of car that I would love to own. Apparently, it's going to be a similar size to the BYD Tang. It's going to be fully electric. And the only way to get one will be to scratch it with a car key. I'll explain what that means in a minute. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. And you know what? Thank you guys for your support, for subscribing to the channel, for watching the channel, and for sending me some messages. Some of you I've really appreciated. That's been a it's been really great to see. BYD and Mercedes Benz made a joint venture several years ago. It didn't really work. They made a car which was one of the ugliest cars ever made in the history of humankind. Seriously, it was terrible. It was a monstrosity. I don't know what they were thinking, but anyway, they made this car. It didn't sell, and so BYD and Mercedes were like, "Ah, oh, yeah, let's just." Mm, let's just um, pretend we're doing something but not actually do anything because this isn't working. So what actually ended up happening is, long story short, BYD ended up buying out Mercedes for the majority of the joint venture. BYD now own 90% of Denza. Denza is the name of the brand that they created together. So technically this is still actually a BYD slash Mercedes vehicle because Mercedes own 10%. But you know, it's a little bit like um, the Toyota's new Corolla electric car. Is it a Toyota in any way, shape, or form? No, it's a BYD. Same story here, I think, but you never know. Maybe Mercedes did have some imports, possible. So these are the new patent images of Denza's new electric SUV. However, it looks like a facelift of the Denza X, says carnewschina.com. And that vehicle is based on the BYD Tang. Now, back in 2020, Mercedes-Benz designed the exterior of the Denza X, and now Denza has changed its look. So to give you an exact date of when this all started, Denza was actually founded in 2010 as a joint venture called Shenzhen BYD Daimler New Technology. They called the company Denza in 2012 because they couldn't really understand why no one wanted to say Shenzhen BYD Daimler New Technology. It was just too long for them to pronounce. No, I joke here, but I mean, seriously, how can you call a brand that? Shenzhen BYD Daimler New Technology. Yeah, that's the longest brand in the history of the automotive industry ever. So anyway, moving to Denza, one of the shortest in the automotive industry ever, was a good idea. I guess Kia is even shorter, isn't it? Now, two years later in 2014, Denza launched its first vehicle called Denza as well. It was called the Denza Denza. Seriously, I kid you not, the Denza Denza. Its sales were, well, really bad because it was only sold in select cities and it was staggeringly ugly. Now, a bunch of other stuff happened, but basically the joint venture wasn't successful. So Mercedes-Benz diluted their share, sold it out to BYD, and now they only hold 10%. Well, I made a vehicle about Denza's new electric van. This thing is pimp. It's, um, I mean, if you're a high roller, if you're someone who loves chrome, if you love standing out, this is the perfect van for you. But if you want an electric van, well, this could be the perfect van for you as well. Now, when they released the D9 electric car for around about 50,000 US dollars, they sold 3,000 of them in less than 30 minutes, which is a lot for a car costing that much. So what do we know about this new SUV? Well, size. It looks like it will be a similar size to the old model, which is 4.9 meters, 4,890 millimeters long, 1,950 millimeters wide, and 1,725 millimeters high. So about one size up, a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger than a Tesla Model Y. Wheelbase, 2,820 millimeters. I'm going to assume it's going to get the same 80 kilowatt lithium iron phosphate battery from the BYD Tang. Now, that car has a top horsepower rating if you get the dual motor version, the performance version of 517 horsepower. And if you get the bigger battery pack, which is, it actually now comes with a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack version, that one apparently will give you a range of 700 kilometers. But that is the CLTC cycle, which is, you know, it's not legit. It's not, you're never going to get 700. You probably get closer to 600 kilometers of range, which is still pretty damn good though. For those of you wondering, is the BYD Tang any good? Well, I read a review from a automotive publication in Norway where they tested 33 different electric cars in the middle of winter. They said the BYD Tang was one of the best. They loved it. Uh, that's pretty good praise from a company that 
does some incredibly thorough testing of EVs. Now, right now, we don't know when the Denza will hit the market, if it'll be sold in Australia, if it'll be sold in Europe or the US or anywhere else for that matter, other than China, I don't know. I would say more than likely it will be. BYD have some pretty aggressive expansion going on right now. I reported days before it hit most of the news that BYD plans on selling 300,000 electric cars per month starting from August this year. Now, I don't know how legit that is. That's coming from different sources in China. So don't try and say I'm clickbaiting you because I'm giving you the truth. I don't know. But I'm hearing that from different Chinese media sources. Not one, but there's several different sources in China saying that's going to happen. And if they are, 300,000 is a lot of vehicles. I imagine they're going to be exporting more and more cars every single month over the next few years as they gradually expand to become one of the biggest automakers in the world. Gradually is probably not the right word. Quickly expand. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below. Would you consider one of these for, say, 50000 US dollars? A vehicle this size, electric, 600 kilometer real world range? I certainly would.